what up, what up, what up, guys, it's Brandon here. Today we're going to be discussing the Mass Effect 3 endings and what I felt about the endings. Um, right now I'm going to tell you guys that I did not like the endings one bit, but I understand why the endings were needed, and I understand the meaning of the endings, and I uh, understand everything, but I just feel like I didn't get any closure. And uh, there's a lot of hidden messages in the endings that I felt shouldn't have been added if they wanted this to, if they wanted people to know that this is the, this is the trilogy, this is it, this is all we're gonna make, there will be no DLC for the real ending, there will be no Mass Effect 4, there will be nothing, there will be, there won't be a, a fucking spinoff, there will be nothing, you guys will just, you, this is, this is the ending that you have, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into this before I read the blog, which I'll be linking in the description, uh, that the, uh, that the people, uh, behind, you know, uh, Mass Effect 3 have posted about the endings and how they feel, we feel about the endings, and how they're gonna try to make it better, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, sorry if I have a live voice, I'm trying to be quiet, uh, people are in my house sleeping, so, uh, let's get started. Uh, well, I'm not gonna read right now, I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel, that there's hidden messages in the endings, and what you choose, whether it's control, synthesis, or destroy. Now, as everybody knows, or as people who are fans of uh, Mass Effect know, Admiral Anderson picked Destroy last time. He destroyed the Reapers, but they also came it back. Um, that's what I picked as well, because I didn't know there were any other endings as, as uh, any other endings to choose from, because I did not want to spoil it, so I decided uh, I'm not going to look up anything about Mass Effect 3, except for, like, the first part, because the first parts were always the same character creation, and then, you know, you reinstated as a, uh, commander. So, that's all I watched. I, I picked Destroy, I had a very, very low war as uh, war asset, but that's only because I didn't have any side missions left to do, and... I didn't have, when I say I didn't have any side missions left to do, I didn't have any side missions left to do, because honestly, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let me do anything, any other, any, uh, anything else that would, uh, you know, let me do any more side missions. I couldn't do anything else, but go to, uh, but attack the elusive man's base, and after you attack the elusive man's base, you're pretty much at the end, and you can't go back, you just go, and, uh, you go back to Earth, and that's what you do, and you, uh, you know, you fight the Reapers, either destroy control or synthesis, or synthesize. Um, if you don't know your Shepard, or anybody's Shepard, is kind of a robot. They rebuilt him, they kind of did like a million dollar man shit. So everybody thinking this, this ending, he's itemized. I'm gonna actually look this up right now, because I know I'm not saying this right. I don't, I don't even know if I'm spelling it right. Itonized means you're, you're dreaming. And once he destroyed the Reapers, and if you have a high enough war asset, I want you to look at, at, at the endings. And, um, if I have time, uh, at the end of the day, I'll link the endings to you guys, so you won't have to look, because, you know, maybe it'll be a struggle, because you, you don't know what exactly I'm talking about, or you, you just don't want to feel like doing it. But I want you guys to hear it, understand what I'm talking about, and that's why I'm going to be doing this, guys, for you. So, um, itemized, uh, let me see. I know I'm not saying that. I and I saw it, yeah. I, 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 I desized. Well, it means you're dreaming. It means you're dreaming. And, uh, if you pick control, you see that the kid stands there for a minute and smiling. But when you pick to destroy, he seems to flash away really quickly as soon as the bomb goes off. Or as soon as Shepard, just like Animal, uh, Animal Anderson. Admiral Anderson, I'm sorry, I did a couple commentaries today. I can't really talk. And I'm running out of, uh or whatever this is, iced tea, I guess, yeah, run out of this to drink, I'm gonna take a sip right now, okay, he picked destroy, and the child disappears really quickly, another thing they're saying, Shepard, no one ever sees this, uh, this kid but Shepard, if you see in the beginning of the game, when the kid tries to get on the plane, or the, uh, the, the ship, no one helps the kid, they help an injured man, but they don't help a child. They think that's strange. And, and when Admiral Anderson caught Shepard when he was in the hallucination trying to get the kid out of the, uh, this is before he tried to get on the, uh, ship. When he tried to get him out of the, the air duct or whatever it was, the, the little duct, he said, you can't save me. And then Admiral Anderson was like, Shepard, he didn't see the kid either. And then 
turned back and the kid was gone. And the kid was in his dreams. It, 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 meant, it let Shepard know what was what, what was in stake. You know what I mean? What was in stake and why he had to do what he had to do. You know what I mean? And that's why, that's, that's to the point where I get the endings. Shepard dies. Either way, either way, even if you see that fucking ending where he's breathing on the rubble, Shepard dies and all the other characters are MIA or gone. You know, and the Reapers aren't a problem anymore, and there's life. There's life in the stars. That's what you're supposed to get from the endings that they made, and if you don't see that, look at the endings again. That's what you're supposed to see. That everything is fine. That they lost a lot of lives, but Earth and other species will prevail. Pre prevail. Prevail? I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Um, as long as they stick together. That's what you're supposed to get from the endings, and that's what I got. I just felt that I didn't get any closure. I wanted to see, you know, Earth be rebuilt a hundred times better, you know. I wanted to see a really different ending, but I'm not, I'm not pissed off at the ending, you know. I just felt that it wasn't a good end to the trilogy, and I'm titled to my opinion, and if you cuss me out about it, we can have a debate over it, it's not a problem. But that's how I feel about the ending, and that's how a lot of people feel. Uh, enough about speculations and anal analyzing the endings, we're gonna start reading the, uh, the section that I wanna read, which is the beginning. As a co-founder and GM, uh, I'm thinking that means general manager, Bioware, I'm very proud of the, uh, Mass Effect 3 team. I personally believe that Mass Effect 3 is the best work we've created yet. So it's incredibly painful to receive fi uh, feedback from our core fans. I wanna pause right there. Our core fans, they say core fans. They tried to make it, they tried to make Mass Effect, Mass Effect 3, they tried to make Mass Effect 3 for everyone. You know, with the commercials that they did, and everything that they did, they tried to make Mass Effect 3 for everyone. Newsflash, Mass Effect 3 isn't for anyone. I don't even think Mass Effect 3 is for casual gamers. Mass Effect 3 is for the hardcore gamers, just like myself. So when they say they're very disappointed, you should be, honestly, because... You try to make it, you try to make something for everyone. You try to please everyone, and honestly, you can't. And by trying to please everyone, you you the 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 biggest section that bought your stuff, that bought you know your DLCs, you know your your f fucking snowboards, your fucking shirts, and everything like that. The people who bought that, you disapproved, and they said, "Oh, I'm never picking up another Mass Effect 3 game." Another bullshit DLC and everything like that. And the whole thing with um, Bioware and EA doing first day DLC which was supposed to come with the game pissed a lot of other players off. For them to say that they're disappointing you damn right you should be disappointed. You took you turn you basically excuse my language for any any personnel that's listening to this or uh, anybody who's offended by the language that I'm using, you turned your gamers over and butt fucked them. That's exactly what you did. By buying that, by making them get ten, the first day DLC, which I did not get, but I've seen many people get, they 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 accepted what they were doing, and obviously people know that we're in a recession right now, and we can't be, excuse me, and we can't be spending sixty dollars for games. We can't. We can't be spending all this money for DLCs, and that goes both ways. We they have people, they have a company that's trying to sell stuff, and since they can't. Since a lot of people are not buying copies of video games anymore because they just can't or they can pirate them, they try to get DLC to intrigue them because, as you know, if you pirate a video game, you cannot get the multiplayer unless you do a LAN party or and you cannot get the DLC unless you do something that is out of my knowledge because, you know, I've pirated my few games but I really don't know how to really get into the pirating and stuff like that. I'm going to go back reading. Our first instinct is to defend our work and to point the highest ratings offered by our critics. But out of respect to our fans, we need to accept the criticism and feedback with humility. I applaud them for that. If you go on their Twitter page, you go on their Facebook, you can actually talk to them about this. You can actually tell them what they did wrong. You can actually tell them and tell them, give them some feedback. Give them some feedback. The game's been out two weeks and uh, a lot of people hate it. Uh, I found that it was short one because I, I feel that I didn't. I, I, I did, I want to say, 75% of the uh, side missions, and I felt that it was still short. And that's the only game that I would uh, do side missions on. Here's my dog running up. What's up? 
What the hell are you? I hope you weren't doing stuff. My dog likes to bite tables. He's a pit bull. He's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna read some more here. I believe passionately that games are an art form. They are. Uh, I play games for entertainment, and I felt I was entertained by this, but I, it also made me think a lot about endings of video games, and it also made me think a lot about how I, because if you don't know, I want to be a video game creator, I want to animate video games, and also make storylines for video games as well, and I look back on a game designer's in a business perspective, and I looked at it, and I understand why they did the 10 day, the first day DLC, uh, and I understood why they did the things that they did, they did, and I understand the endings, um, I look back, and I, I, I said, well, if these hot-headed idiots would pause for a minute and look back, and understand that it's not that easy to create a video game that a lot of people like, and a lot of people will buy, it's, it's damn right hard as hell. So when you criticize something, you have to you have to bring the facts. You have to bring your opinion, and you have to tell them what they can do better next time. Because everybody makes mistakes. Even big buildings, I mean, big corporations and big businesses such as this, they make mistakes. That's that's what they're gonna do. You can't be pissed off at them that much. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Yes, I fucking just sung Hannah Montana. I'm gonna read again. Uh, and that the power of our medium flows with our audience. We're deeply involved in how the story unfolds and have uncontested right to provide constructive criticism. At the same time, I also believe in to support the artistic choices made by the development team. It was it was found out that the development team did not do the ending that they wanted to do. If you download an app from uh, the App Store, I do I have um. I have Android, Google, Google for the win. Hell yeah, Google. And uh, I cannot get the uh, I cannot get the app. I think I believe it's on uh, iTunes or uh, iPhone or whatever. You you call your apps. I have no idea what you call it. I'm gonna take a sip right now because my floor is parched. Okay. Uh, blah blah blah. The team and I have been thinking hard on how to best address the comments on the M3 endings from players. We're still maintaining the RC integrity of the game. So they're saying, oh, well, you don't like the game. Well, we're still going to defend the game because we put our time and our money into it. That's what they're basically saying. We're not going to, you know, remake the game or do anything drastic such as that. We're going to stick to what we made. And I can applaud them for that as well. They're, they're handling this well, even though the majority of people dislike the game. And the story is fine, it's just the endings, man. I, I find that the endings are really stupid. I feel, I, feel, I feel that way, but I understand them. You know, I just felt that I needed closure. And I felt, I feel, and how they are on Twitter. I'm going to show you a couple pictures that I uh, snapshot from, uh, you know, people, comments from people on YouTube and uh, Twitter posts that they've been saying. One of the, one of the, uh, Twitter post was from a guy asking if he was, uh, if Shepard was ionized, which means he was in a dream, if you, if you're not paying attention in the first part of the, uh, video. And they said, uh, and Mass Effect said, anything can happen. I, I can understand that they can, they won't give you a yes or no answer. But, we could, you could have said, we cannot just discuss that at the time, please play the game to find out, or something like that. You can, you can't say, oh, well, only time will tell, you know, you, uh, you can't say that because it'll keep on making them think, and really just like the game, really just like the game, so. Mass Effect includes a trilogy with so much play control and honestly, a story is hard for us to predict the range of emotions people will feel when they finish playing through it. I understand that. In Mass Effect 3, you can choose a lot of different things. You can choose not to help this person. You can choose, you can choose to help this person. You can choose to kill this person. You can choose to uh, save this person. You can choose to keep the fucking Geth, which are like second grade Reapers. Or you can choose to save the Tau for whatever goddamn name they have. I cannot pronounce it to save my life. You can choose to save them or save them. You can choose a lot of the things. But stick to one ending. Stick to your product. And that's what they're doing. But I'm, I'm saying... Well, I can't say change the ending because the ending is already there. But I'm just voicing my opinions and voicing what I think. Because that's all I can do. And hopefully they'll see it and they'll applaud me on that.
<laughs> if not, to that end, since the game launched, the team has been pouring over how they can find how they can how damn everything they can find about reactions to the game. Industry press forums, Facebook, and and Twitter, just to name a few. And that's why I'm making this video. The Mass Effect team, like other teams across Bioware, label within EA consists of passionate people who work hard and love the creating experience to excite and delight our fans. I'm honored to work with them because they 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 have courage and strength to. Uh, to construct to construct the feedback. Better on their research exec producer K Casey Hudson and the team are hard at work on a number of game content initiatives that'll help answer the questions. So DLC. That that's all I'm saying. And that's all I'm going to talk up that's all I'm gonna read because this is already a fifteen minute uh video. But um you you messed up and that's all that's all I can say. I'm not going to uh, uh be mad at you and I'm gonna I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this man. When I play a video game, I really get into the character of the video game, especially in RPG such as this. And to see my character die like that it, here's how I feel. In Mass Effect 2, the fucking beginning of the game, you fucking get blown up. How come you can't survive this? Tell me that. How come you cannot survive this little explosion that, uh, uh, Admiral Anderson, he survived it. He destroyed the thing. And, and another thing, the elusive man, he, he chose, he chose to control them. He chose to control them, and when Shepard tried to control them, he died. When the elusive man tried to control them, he lived. He looked like a goddamn robot, but he lived. So, what happened to Shepard? All of this doesn't make sense because Shepard is half robot. He could be doing something that the servers want him to do, or he could be doing something so we don't know. And that's what I don't like about it. I don't know if he was controlled by Shepard when he did the decisions that I chose for him to do. They said sh they said that servers were controlling him. Bull fucking shit. I was controlling him. I chose the actions that I wanted to do. I chose the actions that I found that were right for me. And the ending wasn't right for me. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you should make multiple endings for multiple people. Because that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the ending. I don't know what you can do to fix the ending. But all I'm saying is you dropped the ball here. You had, you had many people, millions of people ready and excited for this game. You know, scouring YouTube saying good things about it and soon two weeks later two weeks later two weeks later people were pissed off people hated the game two weeks later so what can you do you can take it with pride you can create a mass effect 4 if you have money for that you can create a dlc you can take the endings out you can you can do a numerous things but i don't think that they would do any of them people are saying change it don't change it change it don't change and I don't think they should listen to them. I think they should listen to their hearts and know and do the smart thing or do the dumb thing. And honestly, gaming companies, they'll, for now, they'll do the dumb thing since they done first day DLC. Since they did first day DLC, they, they have a record of doing dumb things. Um, this being one of them. And that's all I have to say on the matter. You know, good job for a great storyline, great multiplayer. I enjoyed it a lot. But Phil that the ending was subpar. It was subpar. Not that it was bad, but it wasn't good. It was, it was, you know, okay, I guess. I understand the endings. It's not like I don't understand the endings. I understand the endings. It's just, fuck that guy. I thought they could be better. To end a trilogy off like that, I feel, is lazy writing. Honestly, I feel that it's lazy writing. See, this is this is why I feel that they should have put on their tryhard games. They should have found people who who knew the game, who played Mass Effect One and Mass Effect Two. They could have found other gamers, gamers. They could found gamers and said, okay, what are your opinions on the end? Do you like it? Do you hate it? You know, they could have had you know like movie critics. You know how they do? They see the the, the movie first. I'm not sure if they did that, but if they didn't do it, they could they could have done that. There's a lot of things that they could do better. But honestly, they probably won't do any of them since the game's already released. The game's already released. The, sh the piece of shit ending is out there now. You can't do anything about it.